beautiful Friday. No one's here today. It's just going to be me running you guys through the job here. But this is the nice little storage area I'm always talking about outside. So we have this all fenced off and locked off and no one's here. It's always important on these jobs, especially in like an urban area like this, that you want to lock down all your equipment, make sure that there's no way to get access to anything. But I'm going to take you in right now. I'm going to show you the space. It'll be nice since no one's down there. I'll be able to show you everything and I'll catch up with you guys. All right, so it's a major progress this week. You can see this whole middle wall has been cleared out here. And you can see here where our supporting pillars are at. They have them lifting from where the wall used to be so that way this doesn't cave in. You get a really good look at that now that everything's out of the way. You can see we have six pillars right here in the middle and then they cross over with the beam coming over to either side over here. So this side and that side. And if we come down here, you can see the final depth of the floor is gonna be down here. So if we look at the original floor right here, that's roughly, I want to say, three feet down that we've dug this floor out. So compared to standing up there, up there, my hand can almost really just touch the ceiling like this. Like it's pretty low clearance. But down here now, I think they've moved this down to a nine foot ceiling. So the amount of space that we have in here now is incredible. So this is a total renovation. It's going to be a totally different vibe when you're down here once this is finished. But you can see here all the footers are pretty much poured. So you can see that now, this was the previous foundation right here, right about here. So we did some work right here when we were working. So we poured like a little one as we went. And then these ones down here are the finals. And so you can see now that we brought this entire footer all the way down here. This is probably, I want to say six feet worth of footer right here. And so this is going to be the supporting structure for the house. That's what's keeping this up off the ground. Now it's not on the dirt. You can see this one's getting finished right here. It's curing. We have more bags of quick creek because the guys still have some footer work to do here. Notably right here, but they're going to wait on that. We have one right here as well. Pretty sure this is going to be a window well because it is regulated that if you do have a basement, you need viable access out. So the saw cutting usually comes at the end, but I definitely think that's going to end up being a window well as well as one other somewhere around here. It might be an existing one or you might saw cut a new one. But if I come over here, you'll notice I finally made it to this room. And so, like I said, the more space that you have in a basement, the nicer, because now we have a section that's out of the way where we can store all of our materials. So that gives you guys plenty of room to move around, shuffle stuff, and general productivity just goes up with that. So back over here, you can see that they're going to finish this off. And then I want to say next week or in the coming weeks, they're going to start to push all this back. And they're going to dig this down to match this right here. So you can see all that being done. So I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. No idea what's going on there. I'd have to ask the guys, but they're not here. So I have no idea. You can see I got the camera up right there. And boom, this is starting to look like a finished product come together. I'll show you this actually as well. I haven't got it up close. Look at one of these before. So this is for the big footer walls. So when we pour these bad boys all the way from the ground up after the footer slab has been poured, we'll do one of these. So you can see here, it's just a general construction. We have a flat piece of plywood going up here with some reinforcement. And then we have a cutout near the top, and this is where the concrete is poured in. So they'll pour it in here, and then they'll leave this on, and as it cures, it'll be done. But since it'll cure out here as well, so if I come over here, I'll show you this. So this is where that hole was. And then since it's sticking out once it's cured, the guys will come and knock that off, make it nice and flush. So super interesting. This will be a really fun one to see what they do with this in the coming weeks. So stay tuned for that. With that said, I'm going to leave you guys with the time lapse. A lot of great progress today. Be sure to stick around for that. And if you have any questions or comments, be sure to let us know. I love answering all you guys' comments and want to hear from you guys. So with that said, here's the time lapse. Real quick before I get into too much narration for you guys, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who tunes in every week and watches our videos. We love to put these out with you guys. We love to share our experience, what we do, how we do things. And when you guys interact with our content, it just makes us so happy knowing that you guys are willing to stick around, watch our stuff, learn with us as we learn because as everyone knows, when you're in the construction field, any kind of field for that matter, every day you're learning something new as you keep going. So. Once again, thanks for tuning in, guys. We appreciate it so much, and we hope you continue watching our stuff. But with that said, a super successful week. The guys were able to do a lot of work, and you might notice it's a longer video. It was a week and a half. We had a little vacation ourselves, so I wasn't able to go and uh, pick up the cameras from last week. 
but I was able to record, which is awesome. So a lot going on in this video in terms of just what they're doing, the process, all that good stuff. So this is the start of the week. You can see here just in general excavation and just getting rid of stuff. You can see that brick wall still standing. So they haven't really demoed that yet. However, they are making good progress on the footer holes there. You can see some vapor barrier getting put in the back over there. And then with most of our jobs on the day outs, it's a pretty just like cookie cutter process because the process is almost always the same. You have a crawl space or a basement that needs to go down deeper. So then you excavate, you make sure that the building is supported, you dig your footers, so on and so forth. So in terms of a process, it's a pretty simple, just like one, two, three, four, five sequence. Like you can't really go out of order on these, which is really nice because with how many we do, we have this really good, just like structure down in terms of getting stuff done where we know what we have to do and pushing forward with the project. So I want to say this year alone, this is probably our sixth, maybe even seventh dig out that we've done. And just, I can already tell by the way the guys work when I go stop by and swing by, they're just, they're getting the hang of it too, because we have the same crews generally working on the dig outs. However, on hotter days or when they get burnt out, we'll switch them out for something else like foundation or excavation or skid steer work. But for the most part, we have the same crew running these jobs. And so they're getting really fluent at these processes and getting this done. So these jobs just keep getting quicker and quicker, which is awesome. Sucks for me though, because then I have less to share with you guys, but it is what it is. All right, you can see a day just passed here. They're coming back as probably a Wednesday or a Thursday. You can see here more quick creek coming in. And you can see just how with open the spaces now, three of these guys move around flawlessly, right? Everyone can be doing something about, but if you watch the beginning video, you would have seen that they had just a little access tunnel where only like one guy could fit at a time. So as these jobs open up, it makes productivity just through the roof because now you can have four, five, six, however many guys, however big the basement is, doing their own thing, making progress, all that kind of stuff. So this is really nice to see at this stage. You can see here they're piling all that dirt up, getting ready for it to be excavated. And honestly, in terms of a process, a lot of people ask the whole skid steer question, why don't we use skid steers? In my personal opinion, working with excavators and then just shovels and your basic power tools to knock dirt out and excavate as well as wheelbarrows is way more efficient because when you have like such a heavy equipment down there, there's more safety concern. They might bump into a pillar, knock something down. They might hit someone, you know, it's tight spaces. It's hard, just can be hard to see, especially when there's walls and pillars in your way. And then with that said too, you move a lot of dirt, but at the same time, there's still a lot of handwork that needs to go into being precise, like in terms of like digging that footer hole, making sure you're digging to a certain depth, making sure you're getting into the corners properly. So even though a skid steer would help immensely, there's still stuff that needs to be done by hand and just why not just all do it by hand, especially when the guys are as proficient as they are. All right, coming back in here, you can see some demo work starting to go on here. We got one of our guys breaking down that middle wall, really opening up. We've had a few jobs this year too, where they had pre-existing walls in place since they were already basements. And the amount of room it adds by just demolishing walls is pretty insane. Because even with that huge middle wall demoed, you just doubled your space and you can't really appreciate it until you're walking around the space and realize how much room is actually there. So. Removing walls is probably the quickest way to add room to any space. Here's another angle of that. Let's see if we can catch them tearing down that wall over there. Yep, you can see them right there. And then this is a good angle of those uh, footer forms as well. You can see they're kind of wet on the bottom because they just ripped it off a pour after it's been cured. So it's got all that sludge and concrete on it. You can see here, we got three of the guys pouring concrete, putting footers right below us while we're filming. And 
Well, you can see that um, in all these processes, there's really no need for any just heavy equipment or anything. Like, yeah, it can be brutal labor, but most of our guys like this as well. Like JC, you can see here right next to the thing. He loves doing this kind of stuff. So, I mean, it's a great workout in a day, but. You can see here some of the senior staff from one of our contractors coming in, checking it out, making sure everything's going well. Must be cloudy outside, got pretty dark down here. There we go. Back to daylight. And another thing I want to point out too is you can just see how much stuff that we drag into these, right? Even though we're moving a lot of material out, we bring stuff in. Like you can see all the quick creep bags, all the wood forms, the wheelbarrows, the tools, the rubble piles that we can't really move out with the excavator. I mean, the conveyor. So space is the name of the game in this kind of work is just make sure you got some room to move around to store stuff that is not in your way. And you're going to have a pretty successful job site on your hands. It's really fun with these older houses as well, because before like the eighties, we've noticed like all of these basements were just, you were slamming your head on the ceiling. So every time we come and do one of these ones, even though we're like digging down only like three feet, it's still amazing to see just how much the space changes because of three feet. Like I was walking down here on the first week and I was like, holy cow, this isn't, it doesn't feel livable almost. But then when I step down there in that little pit that they've dug to the final floor, it feels like a brand new house, honestly, in terms of livability. So if you have a small basement like this and you've been contemplating digging it down a few feet just to get some more headroom, I personally highly recommend such a thing because one, you don't have that much dirt to excavate compared to a crawl space. And you get the added benefit of just a whole new feel to your basement and almost, and some more livability in terms of wanting to actually go down there. We're starting to wrap up here, getting closer to the end of the week right here. You can see the guys pretty much got all the footers done this week. We're able to make some good progress on some demo. And next week, I'm excited to see just exactly what we have in store. I want to think in the plans that we're pushing this uh, concrete pad, the original basement back and starting to work that way. But I could be wrong, but that's my best guess. So hopefully we're going to see that next week. That'll be really exciting to show you guys. And it'll go by pretty fast since it's only three feet of dirt they got to dig out and dig down. So. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. I'm having a blast doing these videos for you. I'm getting better at these voiceovers. They're feeling more natural with every video I do, which is great. It's not as awkward as it once was, talking to myself alone in a room. But there you go. Gold's concrete, dig out. If you're up for the test, go ahead and give one a try someday. If you're bored, need a summer project, dig out your basement, give it a girl. All right, thanks for tuning in, guys. Catch you next time. Bye.